Yes. Alrighty then. <laughs> In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Invisibility! Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. Oh, well done. That's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust stores the cobweb psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. <laughs> Let me go! What to do with small bully assistant? Jeez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny! On other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quiet. Ah! Shut up, Benny! You have something less drastic? Well, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Crazy. Half. What happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Oof! Shut up, Benny! Seriously, Maloof. I apologize. But cool off, you goon, and I'll never bother you again. Ever! The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? Know when you think about giant hairless bear? No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. Well, wait, wait! Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on. It'll come to me. You know, Chloe, for a chick whose face I can't see because she's always wearing a helmet, you're pretty cute. I'm not human, Earth Primate. But you are the girl model of whatever it is you are, right? Affirmative. At this point, that's totally close enough. Man, what smells like butt? Oh, hey, Nils. How about you and your butt and its odor take a hike before I puke? But... It'd be a real shame if you had to leave your butt here because it was anchored to my foot. Now beat it! Hi, Chloe. <laughs> How is it, uh, I mean... <laughs> you know, what's up and stuff? Bobby, we need to work on you a little. I can levitate. 
Want to see my merit badge? Well, that's great. You can just float up on out of this forest then. Because the forest, it's off limits. Now get! Hey, check it out. I'm halfway done with the scavenger hunt. Holy smokes, look at that! Well then, here's the first half of your reward. Don't be lazy. Finish that list. Get! Whoa! Uh, Elton, I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez, sorry. Carry on, sailor. Okay! I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? White room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Let's get him! I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper plants are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision. And possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? Now get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Admiral, sir, did you hear that? The hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander's trying to take over the world. Ah, oh, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster! That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it! Now get in there! The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gugalo. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. 
Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalor. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action. Things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gargalor. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common lowlife criminals. Earlier tonight, Gargalor broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolor. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. Ha! Ah, now you see the genius of our plan, Gogalore. First we print flyers, then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Lonfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we're busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. 